How's just the team focus been this week coming off of some of the losses? Um, you know, our focus has been really there today, or this week actually, and we are going after it. We know Washington's coming up and it's a it's a big weekend for us, and so our focus has been there and we're really trying to get some things down for us and it's just going great. You being a senior and obviously this team being fairly young, how do you, you know, talk to those guys about just the day in, day out grind, obviously, especially throughout the Pac-12 schedule, you guys are in, you know, top teams throughout the nation. Yeah, I mean, we definitely, from the beginning, we've told them, like, it's going to be a grind, it's going to be there, so uh, they're taking it very well, where every weekend we're saying, okay, this is who we got, let's go out there and give it our all, so um, the team has done very well, and so the freshmen have been doing a great job, and I think that they know who our competition is coming up, so they really lock in and they really go after it. What do you expect to see from Washington this weekend? They're going to come at us. They've come at us every year. They've always put up a great fight. Um, they have some good pitching. they got good defense and good offense. And so they're just going to come at us, and I think we're ready for it. We're going we're gonna to go at them as well. With the losing streak, what is the mentality to sort of develop to bounce back? Um, you know, we don't really like try to like look at it as like a losing streak. We're, we're going to lo look at it as a like learning process. So there's things from each game that we've taken into us our pockets and like learn from it so each game's a learning di uh, learning process and we've really tried to um, take each game like that so I mean we might have lost but each game we learn something new about our team and just go forth from there. What's coaches Lombardi's kind of strategy to you know keep you guys so upbeat? Um, she's just telling us to keep fighting out there like each game we know what we do and she's like keep fighting there's something new that we learn and she just tells us to keep fighting to keep going after it and that's what we try to do our best at. You've mentioned it a few times what are some of the things that you think you've learned over the past couple of weeks throughout this streak? I think it's definitely like different areas of like hitting and fielding like we've there's I, it's all aspects of the game that we learn from so I mean there's not one area that we're like we've taken from like Grant that we've learned from but it's just all aspects of the game. Still being home, how does that sort of affect this weekend? Obviously having the home crowd behind you guys. Mm -hmm. I, it's a great feeling. We love being home. We love our crowd here at the Jane. It's it's something special that we have here at the Jane. So we're, we're really excited to get after it here at home in front of our fans again. Being able to, you know, watch the women's basketball team play on Friday, how is that for you guys? Oh my gosh, we couldn't be more excited. We, like our team, we're, our girls are going to the games because we're, we couldn't be happier for how our girls are playing over, uh, for the women's team. Um, we're excited for them to go after it and we couldn't be more happier for how that, well they're doing. What's the chemistry between, you know, the two teams? Do you guys ever, like, mix in at all? Um, yeah, so uh, Coach Graves comes to our games a lot here. A lot of the girls come to our games, too. Uh, Cherish and Adi, they uh, do the panel for SAC for Beat Oregon. They work together, so those two are very close. Um, but, yeah, our team, like, there's no, like, set, like, everyone, like, goes on and cheer each other's on for each game. So, like, everyone comes to go and goes to each other's games. Fill out any brackets this year? No, I, I don't do that, no, <laughs> unfortunately, nope.